So um, now the next uh, we are simple going to uh, learn how we can install okay Ansible Navigator over your RSC uh, I mean your uh, rel machines okay so the next what we have <coughs> because uh, uh, always recommendations that uh, if you wanted to install your applications right especially the application means the uh, navigator or Ansible right uh, make sure you are a subscribe with your uh, Red Hat registries and all those things, right? So depend on that either you can use the EPL and all those things or either you can use any Python module to configure Ansible um, Navigator package, okay? So installations of Ansible Navigator. So that's like a simple and straightforward when you're talking about that, okay? Simple we need something information something means uh, we need a Python module, okay, and then we need a um, Ansible Navigator. So let's suppose Okay, so let's suppose that is my machine. Okay, now I wanted to install Ansible Navigator over my this machine. Okay, so I'm using my RHEL 9 OS. If I will show you that, you guys. Okay, so I'm using 9.0 Pro. Okay, now I wanted to install uh, Ansible Navigator in my this for this machine. Okay, if you notice now, I don't have. I think I don't have. Uh, Ansible Navigator yet, okay. I have all those different different packages, the especially the Ansible Playbook, Galaxy, and all those things. But I don't have any uh, Ansible Navigator. Yeah, okay. We don't have okay. Okay, so I wanted to install that. Okay, so make sure first you need to install that Python uh, 3p packages. Okay, so simple. You can use the yum command as well. Okay, either you can simple use DNF. Make sure you have a running repository. I uh, just create a local repository again okay if you notice now in my case i'm using a local repository even though okay so that connected with my local repository and in my system okay i don't have any public repository again i'm mentioning that okay this is like default .com. and in my case i'm using a local repository okay so uh, here I'm not going to use or subscribe any uh, public repository, right? From the Python module, I'm just adding an Ansible navigator for my systems, okay? So in my, my case, my local YAM is running there, okay? Inside the local YAM repository, you guys need to install a package, right? So you can use the, again, um, DNF, either you can use that YAM as well, right? So which package? I wanted to install Python 3, okay, and pip. I think in my case is installed by default, but let me check. Okay, so in my case, this package installed, okay, by default is not available in any machines. So first you guys need to install these packages, okay. And now with the help of this module, Python 3, so module is pip, okay, and install which package? So I wanted to install Ansible Navigator, okay. I want to install Ansible Navigator. Just mention those Navigator and hit enter. It will install those module inside your machines. The simple and straightforward. That's all. Done. Successfully installed Ansible Navigator 2.0. Right? Done. Wanted to verify or simple you can use Ansible hyphen Ansible or you can simply use tab two times. If you notice now, we got a command. Right? So these are like simple steps to install those. Um, um navigator inside your machines okay now so ansible navigator needs some uh, we can say module actually like in if you know if you know that in the ansible plugin or ansible play we have to uh, install a different different versions and then we got a module like copy module file folder module and all those things right similarly in um, uh, i mean similarly for the ansible navigator right we need to install uh, we can say container images right that help or that store your uh, module specially to run those command right so by default we have a different different images the same thing okay you can subscribe the images or you can pull the images right either in my case if i just check the command like podman images right we'll discuss that how what is the use of images in the next section right but i'll just show you that like for example once you install your ansible by default we don't have any images yet okay so uh, either if you have images then you can use this command as well ansible navigator images right but in my case actually if i don't have any images or in my case it will automatically download images 
right might be one or two images or you can subscribe your images from the red hat or from the qa from the centos from the docker or from anywhere that wanted to uh, add inside your systems right so uh, i so in my case i don't have any images yet okay if i just run this command like that okay if you notice now quickly right so it's trying to download that pulling from the images but i want to code that so i'm just pressing control c okay because I'll, I'll 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 let you know okay so i don't have any images so you can use this command either you can simply use this command so this command will pull the images again i'm mentioning that okay and this command will you to check the images okay and if image is not there it's automatically download your image for you okay i'll show you that so let's suppose again i'm trying to download those images and i don't have any images because i want to check with the part of images command okay if i just use this command it's trying to download that okay so you can use this command as well the very first time again i'm mentioning that if you don't have any images this command used to check that if not then also trying to download that right either if you want to download that images from the qa and from the public repository that are mentioning inside your navigator trying to download that hit enter okay so if you notice now okay it's trying to download from the qa okay and i think the size for might be one and a half gb if i'm not wrong so that could be vary actually so depend on the size so what contain inside this so these images have a lot of modules right that help to run automate your systems right and even though if i show you the official ebook as well if you guys need then right so inside this official ebook you have a path you can mention and manage those things so let's suppose these are steps also they mention that right if you wanted to um, install those things right you can simply install navigator check the navigator versions okay and i'm using a public repository so i'm not going to log in that but again if you need any specific like that right i need uh, something ansible automation platform something something right so in that case you need to log in with your redhat.com authentications right and then you can pull the images to check that and see the navigator images to check that right so in my case is pulling right i think it's taking some times might be depend on the size and speed but i'll go through that okay so after that uh, you can use that and they recommend not recommendation they can also use the they can also say that if you want then you can use this ansible core as well so that's like by default inbuilt it in your rhl um, 9 repository like in your app stream and base os so simple you can um, create a repository and yum if yum i mean you can use yum or you can use the dnf install and something like um, um, ansible and ansible hyphen core okay so that's a point if you notice now yeah so here we got a successfully if you notice now we have a successfully download that images okay and these are like options right with these options you guys can check that like uh, the collection the configuration the documentation the images the inventory file all those things you can mention you can check here right i'll show you one more point if we notice now like uh, uh, like portman images okay so now here we got images right again We'll discuss that about these images, but the navigator works on that. So if you notice now, yeah, so we have like 1.4 GB, I mean 1.5 and 1.4 GB images, okay. And if you notice now, and see the navigator and images, so we have uh, images as well. If you notice now, it will show that, yeah, we have images, okay, collecting those informations. And now we have these images, and the size of might be this one actually, okay. So a lot of information we have that with the help of these things you can uh, check that okay and uh, the same you have a, a another uh, option you wanted to verify then you can run your playbook right for example I want to execute your playbook like similarly so we have ansible navigator then in the earlier what command we have that like command like that we have ansible hyphen playbook and then playbook name something like uh, test.yaml okay but now in uh, in uh, with the help of navigator how you can execute that the simple command we have ansible navigator then i wanted to run that which playbook let's suppose test.yaml okay and then study out so these are the syntaxes with the help of these command uh, study out you guys know the standard input standard out stand i mean it's std in study out right so standard output it will show that like what changes would occur that and how you can write a program okay 
तो दीज आर लाइक डिफरेंसेज इन आर एस सी वर्जन एट एंड वर्जन नाइन राइट दीज आर लाइक ऑफिशियल कंटेंट एंड द सेम इन योर योर लोकल मशीन्स हाउ यू कैन इंस्टॉल द नेविगेटर पैकेजेस इंसिबल नेविगेटर ओके यू कैन से विदाउट सब्सक्रिप्शन एज वेल बट वॉट आई रिकमेंड दैट जस्ट टेक अ सब्सक्रिप्शन फ्रॉम द रेड हैड जस्ट लाइक अ डेवलप सो दस लाइक अ फ्रीली अवेलेबल इज नॉट अबाउट दैट यू टू पे समथिंग ओके सो फ्रॉम द डेवलपर यू कैन यूज दैट एंड दीज आर अ कमांड विद हेल्प ऑफ दिस कमांड यू कैन एग्जीक्यूट योर प्ले बुक ओके एंड इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियोज और नेक्स्ट सेक्शन वी मी टॉक अबाउट दैट हाउ टू राइट अ प्ले बुक राइट एंड हाउ टू एग्जीक्यूट दोज प्ले बुक इन आर एच एल लाइन विद द डिफरेंट डिफरेंट मैकेनिजम्स ओके सो इफ एनी डाउट जस्ट लेट मी नो ओके एंड देन वी विल यू आर टू रिस्पॉन्स यू